YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, I thought I would take a minute to answer a question that we get so often. Um, that is, how do I set up my QBO secondary holster like you have in your videos with both a hanger and a leg strap? Um, yes, believe it or not, I do actually get this question very often, at least once a week, if not more. Um, in addition to that, I thought that I would take this time to go over some of the upgrades to our existing product line that now allow for our carriers to be utilized on battle belts. Okay, since most of you are here for how I set the holster up, I will start with that. Um, you will need to purchase the following items, which can all be found on Amazon, linked down below in the description of this video. Um, they are linked through our affiliate links, so if you use these links, we do get a small cut, um, so we appreciate that. Anyway, moving on, you will need to pick up a UBL hanger that works for the drop length of your choosing. Um, UBL stands for Universal Belt Loop, and I tend to go with a low ride UBL, which places the holster lower, making uh, all the excessive waist movement and my draw stroke gone. Um, it just puts it closer to where my natural hand placement is and I like that. Um, next is the leg strap. The one that I have linked down below has a rubber coating on one side, which is great because it keeps from sliding around on your pants. In addition to this, you will need a QLS fork and receiver. QLS stands for quick locking system. So the tricky part that everyone asks about is how to configure the leg strap so that you aren't having to remove it every single time you wanna switch out holsters. The trick is simple. You mount the leg strap between the universal belt loop and the QLS receiver plate. Um, this keeps the leg strap with the hanger and belt at all times. Doing this allows you to use multiple guns on the same belt setup and only having to change out different holsters. And being a holster company, obviously we do like this. Now one might say, why do you need this? And to that I say, well, honestly you don't. Um, but if you're like me and you shoot a variety of guns throughout the year, or if you like to carry one gun for all purposes, such as like a duty on the waistband setup, uh, off body concealed carry, or even and vehicle carry, uh, then this is the go-to route. Um, it allows you to use the same holster and firearm in all of these capacities. Now, if you're not familiar with the QLS setup from Safariland, I'm going to break this down for you real quick. The quick locking system from Safariland is a mounting adapter that allows for the quick lock and release of a holster to a belt, a chest rig, a vehicle, etc. Um, this is done by utilizing a fork that mounts onto the holster and then locks into a receiver plate so that the holster is held securely in place. So when you get your QBO secondary holster in the mail, you will remove the belt paddle that it came with. Um, you will then attach the QLS fork to your secondary holster so that it can now work with your UBL and leg strap on your battle belt. Um, I've been using QLS for years and I do trust it with my life. If you're familiar with our products, then you know that we have also created a Velcro adapter, which can be used in conjunction with the QLS setup, allowing you to quickly take your holster from your belt and now put it into your Vertex bag for off-body carrying during these hot summer months. So to recap, you will slide your belt through the universal belt loop, the UBL, and place it on your strong side where it feels most natural. Um, I have found that the best way for me to do this is to close my eyes and then just go for the gun, go for the draw, um, where my hand naturally lines up along my belt line, um, where it just naturally drops, that's where I typically orientate my setup. Next, you will place your leg strap against the UBL, pinning it with the QLS receiver plate. Utilizing the hardware that comes with the UBL, you will secure the QLS receiver plate to it. Um, the width of the leg strap fits in between the three screws. From here, you will attach your QLS fork to your secondary holster, and from there, you can slide your holster with the QLS fork into the receiver plate on your UBL, and it will lock in place. Um, adjust and secure the leg strap to your liking, and voila, you are now all set up and good to go. Now, some of you may ask, do you need the leg strap? Honestly, guys, you don't. Um, especially if you're running a duty style retention holster such as the ALS from Safariland. The built-in automatic locking system in their holster will keep the gun from coming out while running around or doing whatever you're doing on the range or on duty. Um, I run my retention pretty tight on my QBO secondary holster to prevent it from falling out while running um, because the holster doesn't have any retention devices. Um, so the leg strap keeps the holster tight to my leg when going for the draw so it does come out with ease. If you don't have that leg strap and you have super tight retention on like an open top style holster that we make, um, you might find that it ends up pulling up and bowing so the leg strap helps combat that. Okay, so now moving on to the upgrades to our current lineup. When I initially created the mag carriers for both pistol and rifle, they were designed to work with normal EDC everyday carry type belts. Um, I typically use STAC Kiwis for my battle belt stuff. Um, with that being said, we did get a lot of requests for our mag pouches to be used on Molly style belts. Um, belts like this enhanced instructor belt from RDR Gear that I have right here. Um, Jeff is a buddy, he owns 
owns and operates RDR gear, and man, he puts out solid gear. Uh, I've been using his stuff for years. The majority of my belt setups are all of his belts, as well as my chest rig placard. Um, they call it the, he calls it the MCP. You probably saw it in our latest photo shoot with all of the 80s base side splatter paint. Um, he actually did that for us. Uh, huge shout out to Jeff. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Um, if you are in need of some awesome belts or a chest rig, definitely reach out to RDR Gear as they make some really high quality stuff. Um, so what we have done is designed our new molding to allow for the use of a single molly lock style clip. Um, this clip goes through the molly webbing on the belt and latches into place holding the magazine securely. We've added this as an option to our AR mag carrier, our double pistol magazine carrier, and our new mod light handheld carrier. Um, this will now allow you to attach these carriers to any belt setup that you have utilizing molly webbing to include plate carriers. As you guys can see here, each carrier is secured to the belt utilizing the optional molly lock attachment which has a spring loaded tab. Um, each molly lock attachment is connected to the mag carrier via two screws to prevent it from sliding and or rotating while on your belt. For those of you out there that are running our older version of the AR mag carrier, don't worry, you can still attach them to any molly belt. Um, you just have to use two molly lock adapters instead of one. Um, you would simply place one on each side of the adjustable retention points um, so you guys aren't totally out of luck. Additionally, the double mag carrier and the mod light handheld carrier are now designed to utilize the molly lock attachment as well. Um, if you are in need of a thicker attachment, say for like a two inch duty belt, um, you can purchase a thicker version of the molly lock online. However, we don't offer those. They will work just fine though, as the whole pattern is the same. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up in this video for us. Um, if you like what you saw, uh, please give us a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we post new videos every week. If you wanna support our content, please check out the Patreon link down below. Um, our Patreon members get first access to new content, new gear, discounts, and giveaways. Um, they're honestly a huge, big reason why we can continue to create the content for everybody that we do. And we appreciate their support, guys. So as always, I appreciate you watching the video and I will see you in the next one.